Guys, guess what? We've got another question to tackle. Yeah. Um, yeah, surprisingly, yeah. surprisingly, thank you guys for all of your questions so far. I really appreciate yeah. it. Um, and yeah, we will endeavour to answer and get back to everyone we can. Mm-hmm. Um, so, in today's question, our viewer asked the question: How can we can we advise on the best way to pattern match? Yeah. So the best ways to match your shirt, suit, pocket square, and so forth. Yeah. All right. So. When it comes to pattern matching, the best thing to do is the same thing as colour matching, is to experiment. But if I'm going to give you some guidelines, the key thing to think about is this. In my opinion, you can wear as many patterns as you like if they're very faint, right? Now when they're bold, I think the most I would go for is two. If you're including socks, then three. Yeah, Well, at most two. So for example, I'm wearing three patterns right now. You could possibly only, from where you are right now, of where most people would be with, when they stood next to me, could only see one, and that would be on my tie. You can see the silk knit. However, if I come closer, you'll now see the plaid pattern on my suit, which is faint, and you'd also see the houndstooth pattern on my shirt. So there you have it. You can see the tie. And then you can see the tie, right? So there you have it. Three patterns, but two of mine are quite faint, one quite bold. So what would you think then? Yeah. Do you think you could add a, a pattern pocket square in there? Man, that's four, isn't it? I could. I actually could. I actually could. So now looking at what I'm wearing, I have two faint colours, like the, the suit and the shirt. I have a bold one on my tie. However, I feel like I could add a second bold colour to this outfit and have four patterns, and that would be on my pocket square. I could have a pattern in the pocket square easily and get away with it without it being too ostentatious. Mm-hmm. Now, it's all about experimentation. It's all about seeing what works, putting it on, trying it. But I would say at most, two bold patterns and as many faint patterns as you want. That's my opinion. Now, if I also look at, analyze what Senna's wearing, he now has two bold patterns. If you look at his tie, which is a wall knit, you can see the pattern clearly in there. And you can also see the polka dot on his pocket square. Now the key thing, like I said about when you have two bowl patterns, is that they should contrast. He's got socks too. (laughs) He's got socks on too. (laughs) It's all about trial and error. It's all about trying it on and seeing. Um, But I personally think, I hope Senna agrees, is two patterns, two loud patterns maximum. But contrast them, whether it's in colour, size, Mm -hmm. texture, whatever. Um, And I think that's it when it comes to pattern matching. Pattern matching really is a case of trial and error. I've seen, I, I, me personally, whenever I've seen a guy wear um, three bold patterns, it looks horrible. There's, there's too much stuff going on. So I've seen, for example, I've seen a check shirt with a polka dot tie and a pinstripe suit. And to me, this is mind boggling. There's just so much going on. Like, why would you do that? Now, if you change the suit to being plain, mm-hmm. it works. If you change the tie to being plain, again, it works. Mm-hmm. If you change the shirt to being plain, it works, but all three together, it's just like, what are you doing? Yeah. Right? If you're doing all three, you must be American. <laughs> Do you know oh, what the, did hey, he listen. say it? No, no I'm no, joking. No, no, I'm joking. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you were I'm American like... or Nigerian? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Listen, listen. It's gone independence, allow us, no, allow no, us. No. Listen, listen, I love America. <laughs> And I love Nigeria, so listen, I'm not part of this. I don't care what he says. I love my brothers and my sisters. Listen, Nigeria and, and America, yeah, I'm there. Did you notice he didn't dispute it though? <laughs> I didn't dispute it. <laughs> it's not true, it's not true, it's not true. But anyway, that's how we would pattern match. Mm-hmm. We hope you agree. If you don't agree, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. It's a debatable one. Not really, but <laughs> some people may debate it. Let us know what yeah. you think. Also, before we leave, we had um, the same viewer actually had another question with regards to um, how bold you can go with your pocket square if you're not wearing a tie. And um, the answer, obviously, as long as it complements your suit and shirt, is as bold as you like. Very bold, yeah. You know, go Very for bold. yellow paisley <laughs> if you really want to, as long as it works with the uh, the composition of the outfit you're wearing. Very bold. I think this is it. I mean, if you can imagine or picture it in your mind wearing like a navy suit white shirt, open collar, 
you can pretty much put anything in that pocket square. Like literally, the the, the Versace multi colors can go inside there, and mm. it still looks good. It still looks classy because it looks so casual without the tie. It's just it's easy. Yeah. I think it's easy. Yeah, you can't go wrong. You can't. Man. Cool. All right. So guys, we hope we've helped you again today. If there's anything you disagree with, um, keep, keep it to it yourself. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any comments that you have, obviously send them our way. Um, yep. no, let me not go there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, anything, you know, any questions, please feel free to send us a message at ask at mortsandmore.com. Yeah. Um, at the same time, you can also leave us comments on our various social media channels. So you can find us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And uh, Facebook, Facebook, uh, Facebook, Facebook, yeah, like, Facebook Instagram, LinkedIn. Yeah. Look, you know the works. This is it. We've been on Pinterest, so I haven't really used it, but we're there. Yeah, we're there. Either way, yeah, yeah, cool. See you next week, Thursday. All right, see you next week, guys. <laughs> I don't care if it's summertime outside, I don't care if it's hot, I don't uh -huh. care if you're a professor. <laughs> do, do. Right, <laughs> when it comes to pattern matching. I think, I'm sorry, when it comes to pat, that means the first bit's wrong. <laughs> See what I mean? I'm just giving that wrong advice. <laughs> it almost boils down to the same thing that we said a few times ago in, in many of our videos where we talk about colour matching. A few times ago. A few times ago. <laughs> it almost, it, ooh, are those guys looking at us? I feel like they are. Basically, it boils, <laughs> when, 